According to opshop.org, there are over 244 op shops just in Adelaide, where you can drop off your quality donations to help fund much needed community projects. As thrifters, we often only see this from the customer's perspective, but today we're taking you behind the scenes, and it might not be what you expect. One of our local op shops is absolutely inundated with items that are coming in that are raw donations and their sorter is not available at the moment. So today we are going to try to sort and make sense of this room. Before we get into it, we'll try and give you a little bit of a tour. So we've just walked in the door and we've started heading down this aisle right here. As you guys can see, there isn't much of an aisle left, but we're gonna try and clean these walkways first so we can actually walk around in here. Okay, this is where clothing is coming in and getting some hung and some just stored on the ground. Looks like we do have some racks here that we can start to hang some things up, but we also have donations that are still in boxes, bags, just how they have come. And as we come around the corner, you can see that there is still more and more clothes and they are providing us with some rag bags. So we're gonna go through and things that aren't good enough for sale, we're going to send to the rag house and things that they can make some money on up on the rack. And I don't think that we're going to run out of coat hangers. So as you guys can see behind me, there is an absolute mass of clothes in here. And I think the important about part about this video is to understand when you're donating stuff to an op shop, make sure it's stuff they can actually sell. Otherwise, it's gonna end up in a big pile like this and it's going to take them a long time to sort it so we'll show you a little bit more of this shop before we actually get into actually cleaning this thing up but this is going to be a massive job and i think this is probably going to be a multi-part series and also just remembering that these are often just volunteers who are doing the majority of the work this is the only way to go so let's squeeze through okay I believe that over this way it is usually open, but it's been blocked off at the moment just by the sheer amount of stuff. I think that a lot of today is going to also just be sorting things into categories. So gathering up all of these shoes, for example. And when we find single shoes that don't have a partner, which are essentially useless, we can send those to the rag house too. And continuing the tour this way, as you can see, <laughs> there have been things coming in here for a long time and it's just backed up to a point where they can't even get back here to sort it. We're heading into the outdoor tool and garden type area. We also have furniture. It seems to be more like building materials, but there is also stacks and stacks of bags. We also have Cara here with us today. <laughs> What's your first thought? <laughs> Our first priority is going to be just clearing a path to the outdoor exit, which we currently can't get to. What are you uh, thinking? There's tons of just empty boxes and vessels around, so at least we're gonna have places we can start organizing things into, right? All right, let's start. Put this somewhere where we can uh... This is gonna just be really tricky for a while and it is what it is. Yeah. Ah, grab them. Oh, you want more than that? Uh, we'll start with that and we'll see how we go. Pray, should I just carry it over? Um, if it's like wearable and they can sell it to someone for a buck, then I'd say too. What do you reckon, Kara? What's the line here between? Well, the thing is, I think you need to tackle like there's nowhere to actually put the stuff because then it's just going to get put back in this box. What? Like, we've got these. Like, maybe the actual clothes on the racks first, like to see. Like, What's what? that? 
Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like they're out of the way, like, so... Yeah, I know. Um, yeah. I, I guess if you have a box that... Um, that's like, okay, this is decent stuff or whatever. This is like literally rough, like rubbish. This is the bag for that. Got <laughs> a fire bell? <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't say fire while we're in here, please. So we spent the next hour or so trying to make a little bit of a walkway in this clothing area while we waited for the bin to arrive. This was about the point we realised we'd got in well over our head. And the donations that come through these places are clearly not always good quality, as you will see right here. This is the sort of donation that is not no, what we want to see. Donate poo or blood stains. At op shops. Please. Okay, we're starting to make a little bit of a dent in here. Jazzy is on hanging duty. <laughs> I've actually found some really nice clean kids stuff that's just like straight out to the shop floor so there's some good things. My area uh, has mostly been not so great so a lot of it has ended up in these rag bags so they'll head off to the rag house to get recycled and there's still a lot to go. So much to go. All right let's go through this donation together. All right we've got a old school jumper Okay, I'd probably hang on to that because it's winter. What else we got here? Some random pa parachute pants. Crusty towel. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, but it is very dirty and stained. It's not like an Adidas one or anything. So that's a shame. I don't know if that's worth saving, but it is very cool. Got another pair of pants here. Just no name brand. The white blouse by the looks of it. Sorbet. What we got here? Random pair of pants. Separates. A couple more pairs of pants. So you can sort of see out of this whole donation, there's probably only like two pieces in there worth keeping. Okay, the bin has finally arrived, so now we can actually start moving some stuff out of here so we've got a bit more room to move because... Our faces are just like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm trying to forge a little bit of a path through here so we can actually walk through it because this was essentially all boxes before. And now you can fit almost one human all the way through. Look how much stuff there is here guys, it's actually crazy. Lunch time. It's my go break. My go. <laughs> Where'd you find that? I don't know, but I thought if I get crushed, maybe you'll find me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kara's been working away in here, and you can actually see ah. the table now. So that's uh, that's a win. Everything else is taking a lot longer. The bin is full out the front. Well, that did not take very long at all. And we're running out of bags as well, so I'm not sure how much we're going to get more done today, but good start. How are you doing? Yeah. Delicious. You want some shoes over here? Yeah, got plenty. Just a couple. That Nike would be nice if you could find the other one. Yeah. Okay, we've been here for four and a half hours, and I am so pleased to announce we can see patches of floor. <laughs> And we can pretty much walk down every aisle and to the back door, which means that next time we come in, some real progress can be made. Okay, yes, there's still a lot to get through, but we can now come back down to the clothing area. We did start to hang some clothing, but it was a game changer when the skip arrived. So, follow me around the corner. All of this floor space has been cleared and we had filled, I think, 10 or more rag bags from the clothing area. You might remember climbing through here before, but now I can just go backwards. Around this corner, we have actually uncovered the old shelving units that were here. And we can walk all the way down it. 
and we can come through to the door that we could not access at all before and we do need to keep clearing that out next time. Down in the aisles we have entirely clear aisles with our rag bags that are ready to be picked up so the service actually comes here and gets them which is amazing. A lot of single shoes are in there. And then we have the like garden aisle which we still need to do a bit of work down the back all of the boxes and containers that we've emptied are stacked here so these actually don't have anything in them anymore and next episode i think we will be tackling down here which has all of the books we will be back again to keep working through this please remember to donate with intention so that we don't have to keep doing this if you wouldn't give it to a friend don't give it to the op shop